Now it looks hair-raising and it could be deadly. This dangerous craze is nicknamed balconing and young holidaymakers are engaging in it in resorts across the continent with potentially devastating consequences. This report with pictures that viewers may well find disturbing is from Robert Short. With the leaving cert over, thousands of young people would be heading off to party in destinations like Mallorca. I don't know what's going on. Authorities there are hoping they won't be doing this. This is balconing. It's the act of intentionally jumping from a balcony or roof into a pool or crossing from one balcony to another. It can result in devastating injuries and even death. It's done overwhelmingly by young men who have consumed alcohol. We have no evidence showing that recent deaths of Irish young people in Mallorca were linked in any way to this activity. The problem here is not to ruin a holiday. The problem here is you are going to ruin your life. Dr. Juan Jose Segura San Pedro is a surgeon in Palma, Mallorca. He's the co-author of a report in a medical journal about the impact of balconing. Over a five-year period from 2010 to 2015, there have been 46 cases of injuries from balconing recorded at the hospital in Palma. Of those injured jumping into pools, 57% were British, 29% German and 14% Irish. 74% of those injured were classified as major traumas. 48% required major surgery. The British Foreign Office has taken this so seriously, it's run a campaign highlighting its dangers. Be sensible, drink responsibly and try not use balconies. Or if you do, use them sensibly, you know what I mean? Don't be, don't be hanging over the edge, swinging off the edge, climbing them, jumping off them, just be sensible. Authorities in Mallorca are hoping the message gets through. Robert Short reporting, and I'm joined from Mallorca by consultant surgeon Juan Jose Segura San Pedro, who's outside the main trauma centre for the Balearic Islands. Um, Dr. San Pedro, thank you for joining us. Do you have any insight into why people do this? Uh, thank you, David. Uh, yeah, the main reason why people do this is probably alcohol. Binge drinking make them uh, act different from how they usually act and they start uh, taking wrong decisions, they start doing what they are not used to do. And uh, when you start doing something you are not used to, when you start uh, to think uh, your abilities are better than they are, and you start to take taking risks, the accident is going to happen sooner or later. And your research shows this mainly affects young men, uh, a high proportion of them British, but also a lot of Irish people. Yeah, uh, although in our area the, the nationality which is more present are, are British, uh, the real thing is there are Irish too. And if you look into the numbers of the number of tourists that comes here to the island, uh, you see that y we shouldn't have that many Irish uh, because the amount of people coming from Ireland is not that high. Okay, and um, obviously this is very, very dangerous. We've seen some shots there. Uh, what sort of injuries do you end up treating as a result of this? Yeah, the main kind of injuries are brain injuries and a spine injury. We are not talking about a broken arm or a broken limb. Uh, we are talking here about uh, some injuries you want to recover in your full life. We are talking about people who die because of this and people who uh, is unable to work again or to have a normal life again. Okay, and I know you've been involved with the British Foreign Office in a public information campaign. Given the number of Irish people involved, do you think our Department of Foreign Affairs could perhaps do something similar? Yeah, I think uh, it would be useful. Uh, everything we can do to prevent this from happening is useful. And we are not only talking uh, about balcony and falls. We are talking here about traffic accidents, about rollovers, about fighting in bars. Alcohol and binge drinking makes all this to happen. And even when balcony is the more known thing, uh, we should uh, st start doing something with binge drinking and try to do a campaign and try to start policies to avoid it. And obviously this kind of activity, this play acting, uh, has a very heavy cost in terms of the resources that you have to put into dealing with it. 
Yeah, uh, this kind of activity makes uh, us to be really prepared. We need a, we work with a trauma code, and when this happens, and um, as any other tr uh, high trauma, uh, we activate the trauma code, and here we are. We are all the sergeants, we are the intensivists, the ER people, and we are all prepared to attend the best we can to the injured. Uh, because of the time of year, there are hundreds of young Irish people who will be travelling uh, to your part of the world in the next few weeks. Do you have any message for them uh, before they set off? Yeah, the main message is uh, don't do silly stuff. The, they don't think uh, a wrong decision and, and a stupid decision like can be uh, go from one balcony to another instead of using the door. And something that simple like that can make your life end or can affect the rest of your life. We are not talking here about small injuries. We are talking here about injuries that uh, avoid you from living your life. Okay, Dr. San Pedro, thank you very much for joining us uh, this evening from Mallorca. You are welcome, David. Thank you.